That is the chilling reality of the effects of improper road use, illegal speed bumps, misuse of road facilities, illegal parking, poorly placed or relocated utilities, billboards and all forms of road encroachment, just to name a few. The accidents that we are registering uh, every day are many. And the reason why that is happening is because of uh, the pedestrian being knocked. All uh, people that are doing roadside activities having uh, to be knocked down by vehicles. These activities contribute to making road use stressful, inefficient and time-consuming. It costs taxpayers billions and results to loss of life through road accidents. Road encroachment is basically when public land near roads is illegally used for private gain or activity. This can be by setting up billboards and shops, building houses and walls or even parking cars and dumping of sand or garbage. To understand road encroachment, let us look at road reserves. There are different classes of roads in Kenya and each has its own standard of road reserve. A road reserve is land that has been left undeveloped by the roadside with the aim of using it for future development, for the sake of safety or for use in erecting road signs and road furniture. The major classes are A, B, C, D and E. In case you live or operate your business near a road, it would be prudent to ensure that you have consulted Kenha and other relevant authorities before you set up shop or undertake any project. In this way, you will avoid inconvenience to yourself and others. Trading beside a highway is clearly road encroachment. Some of these roadside businesses have grown so big that entire pedestrian pathways are obstructed and the road shoulders cannot be used by motorists. Are traders and their customers aware of the dangers they face? And if so, what motivates them to ignore these hazards? Kira kitu naitaji kwangu na toanga hapa. Hata kama ni dangerous, hapa ndio huwa napata kitu ya kukula. Na sio mimi peke yangu hata wenzangu. Nikikunja hapa nitaona chakula. Eh. Kwa sasa chakula Remember that when we encroach on roads, a lot of money has to be spent reclaiming the land, rehabilitating or restoring it. Not only that, road encroachment delays beneficial infrastructure projects and is a threat to public safety. Road subsizes and uh, the surveys as they are, even if a road has not been put in that particular place, and it has been designed and been surveyed for a road, then uh, it's important to keep off uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the roadsides that have been left for expansion. Did you know that your favorite roadside car wash may not only be encroaching on road reserves, but it may also damage the road furniture and drainage facilities? Road furniture is any signage or additional roadside features by or on the road. They include markers, signs, traffic lights, benches, drains and so much more. Kenyans are renowned all over Africa for our entrepreneurial spirit. However, this stiff competition can sometimes drive Kenyans off the straight and narrow. We see billboards and banners and all sorts of marketing materials displayed in ways that are unsafe for road users or simply an eyesore. Indeed, one doesn't have to go too far before one can find a road reserve bursting with billboards and signboards. But is it the right thing to do? How can we advertise our businesses safely? Any structure on the roads should be done only upon approval by the authority. When one applies, to have a structure. This structure could even be a billboard or any other information sign. One is expected to make an application to the highway authority 
the highway authority will uh, do its evaluation and guide the proponent on the installation of the of the structure taking into account all the safety aspects of the route and for the motorist in some cases road encroachment may be a symptom of an even bigger problem poorly placed or relocated utilities and encroachment on areas set aside for these utilities these could be water pipes cell towers electric poles and other such facilities poor planning sometimes leads to situations where there are utilities that are placed too close to the road or where the utilities are interrupted or rendered ineffective by human activity or during construction and maintenance of the same there is another damaging habit that we all see on a day-to-day -day basis it is especially common with public transport vehicles and freight trucks parking on the curb this misuse of road furniture is especially harmful we see crumbling sidewalks and flattened posts as a result it also blocks pedestrians pedestrians can also pose a threat to road safety crossing roads at undesignated areas forming roadside meetings and ignoring foot bridges and pedestrian walkways are all forms of road misuse it is of paramount importance that all pedestrians should cross the road at designated crossings and use footbridges and walkways in the appropriate manner after all when a car and a human collide the car always wins have you seen crosses drawn in red or yellow paint on some buildings by the road many of these structures are marked for possible demolition even though the buildings are of economic importance adjacent positioning of roadside developments and utility features is dangerous to road users this can be quite a catch-22 situation on one hand there is heavy investment and the potential to make money on the other hand there is road safety to consider what else do we see that mound in the middle of the road is an illegally erected bump an unsafe situation for motorists and for pedestrians alike all over the nation there are areas where the local residents erect bumps and put up various obstructions to slow vehicles why is this a recurring problem for the last two years or so up accidents because in attend the canal and then now not doing on the mekufia kwa injia so uh, as the result of one is of kiona kwamba hakuna mambo simewekwa na watu wanakufa sasa kuna the way forward according to their knowledge it then also hili or induce hiyo mafa ya ya watu through on accident instead of the common wanaishi resorting to constructing those illegal bumps what they should do is to make an application to the regional offices for consideration and the authority will do its evaluation and it, if it finds that our, a bump or a traffic speed coming device is needed is going to construct a standard road bump it would seem that these unlawful bumps are put up in good faith Still, these bumps do not conform to the standards that have been set by the government. Did you know that all bumps in the country will soon be the same size? The government has ordered all bumps to be reconstructed to conform to safety standards. Not only that, rumble strips will be reconstructed too. The East African uh, standardized bump is has a height of uh, Four inches that is 100 millimeters uh, meaning it then it should then be spread over six six point five meters and then before it as I said is supposed to be accompanied by two sets of labor strips with the first one being two and then followed by four labor strips and the labor strips themselves are uh, 15 millimeters uh, shy of the the road service 
Do you know all the road safety rules? Fear not, the government and Kenha are working tirelessly to educate you on everything you need to know about keeping to the straight and narrow. There are public barazas where you can interact with officials, you can engage your county representatives and you can reach a relevant official through Kenha and other agencies. Kenha has also undertaken to brand, maintain and monitor all road networks on a regular basis. We are all encouraged to keep an eye out for road and road asset misusers and report them promptly. What the common Mwanaichi can do whenever they notice that uh, there are structures or interference with the, on the road reserves is to inform the highway authority through the toll-free uh, telephone numbers that we have been providing. The hassle is real. However, all of us as Kenyans have a responsibility to walk the straight and narrow in proper road use. That is the long and short of it. With proper road usage, we can all have a more positive experience of road use and have a better outlook for the future. Good infrastructure is, after all, the backbone of a growing economy.